Speaker. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Well, a well-known tale of a man who, consumed by ambition, murders his king to take the throne for himself, infam infamously culminates with a protagonist lamenting, life's but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets its hour upon the stage and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. And so it is with the tale of the protagonist of this place, Prime Minister McTurnbull. Because while we've heard many lengthy soliloquies from the Prime Minister and the knives of vengeance pile more bloody bodies of betrayed ministers on the backbench by the day, all the sound and fury signifies nothing. No change from the Ab Abbott government's marriage equality policy. No change from the Abbott government's climate change policy. No change from the Abbott government's $80 billion cuts to schools and hospitals. No change from the Abbott government's desire to roll out $100,000 university degrees. And of course, the same lack of economic leadership and baseless scare campaigns. As we enter the final act of this tale of betrayal and service of nothing more than personal ambition, we see that the talented member for Wentworth has knifed the previous Prime Minister only to become him. He looks to the backbench and he knows that something wicked this way comes. Banquo's ghost lurks, cavorting with the Australian. And we all know how this play ends. There are already back bodies piling up on the backbench. We will see more before this play is out.